Hello, I'll be doing question 15.55 in the Mastering Physics. Uh, so, for this problem, we're given a pendulum that has a period of 4.1 seconds. And since we know that, we can use the this pendulum equation. And we're trying to solve for the length of the chain that's holding up the lamp. So rearranging this equation, we get that the length equals the period divided by 2 pi squared times the gravity constant. And then we just plug in our 4.1 seconds for the period and 9.8 for the gravity. And we get that the length of the chain is 14.7 me 17 meters. The next problem, uh, we're trying to find the maximum velocity. And we know that the maximum angle to the vertical is 3 degrees. So we can use these energy equations to find out the maximum velocity. So since we know that in the beginning there will be no kinetic energy right when it's resting at its maximum point right here. So there won't be any uh, kinetic energy. So we'll just be using the gravitational potential energy for the initial and for the maximum velocity, which is right over here in the picture. Should be right in the middle. Uh, we will use that as the to find the maximum velocity. And there will be no gravitational potential because it's at its lowest point and it can't go any further. Then rearranging the equation of these energy equations, we can find V max with the uh, the potential gravitational energy equation, making it equal to the kinetic energy equation. So we now have that the square root of 2g times the height is equal to v max. And since we know that the height is only as much as it can go from the top of the pendulum period to the equilibrium point where it's going the fastest we'll only need to find out find out the part right here where it's h that little tiny area and that will be equal to the 1 minus cosine of 3 degrees now we just plug everything in, 2 times 9.8, the gravity, times the length, and this height component, we get that the maximum velocity is 0.33 meters a second.